We're inside Perth Home Show and we've made it to Ecotown and this place is amazing. Worm farms, plastic recycling, aquaponics. They've even managed to squeeze five tiny homes in here this year. It's twice as big as last year. There's really a lot of stuff to check out. If you're into sustainability, going off grid, eco living, this is the place for you. I mean, they've even got a couple of Teslas. You have gotta see these things. This one looks like the DeLorean. All right, check this out, worm farms. Now, not only if you've got worms, it's a problem, but not when they're like this. This is an old fridge that's been recycled. Now, how a worm garden works, very similar to a compost, but you even get more out of it. So you put all your veggie scraps in the top, just under that mat, the worms eat it all, and what they give you is two things, worm castings, which is worm poo, and worm weed. And this is great for the garden. You wanna see some worms? I think they're sleeping, but they're under here. Yeah! Come and check this out. This is aquaponics, an interesting way of gardening. Your garden's at the top, the fish are down the bottom in the pond, the fish feed the garden, the garden feeds the fish, and you don't have to do anything. Everybody knows that plastic is a major problem, but the guys at Green Batch have found a solution. Simply dump your bottles in here, and then they take them somewhere, and I'll show you what they do with them. They chuck them into a machine. That machine grinds them down into a pallet form. You can see it there. Then, them pellets get put in there and put through an extruder. It's put onto a roll like this, which can be fed into a 3D printer to create something brand new from your recycled bottle. The best thing is, they can even recycle that back through the system and do it all over again. Now, you need to check this out. This is how they separate the stuff. So in the bottom, are the bottles and in the top are the lids so the lids float on water and that's how they separate it. This stuff is awesome. These guys can make anything. So tiny homes has become a big part of eco living and here at the home show we've got five of them. There's three exhibitors, the tiny homes Perth, we've got Fox tiny homes and we've got tiny homes WA over in the corner but I think what we're going to check out today is the biggest one of all. It's even got a deck out the front there's your drawbar, you can fold that up if you need to move it. This thing is massive, come on inside. Now this might be a tiny home, but there is so much room in here. Lounge room with a television. Check out this kitchen. Massive bench top all the way down. You've got a full size cooktop and oven. Cup of tea, mate. Plenty of bench space, plenty of cupboard space. You've got another bench over this side to sit down and eat at, or even use as a desk. It's got a full size fridge. And then down the back is a full-size shower, a sink, and even a toilet. So you don't have to go outside. You've got to check out the mezzanine level. This is where the bedroom is. The best part is your bed is always set up, so you're never packing it down. You've got air conditioning. There's plenty of room you can sit up in bed, but if you don't like the air con, there's side windows for ventilation. It keeps it nice and cool up there. You've got to check this thing out. This is pretty cool. It may look like the DeLorean, but this is actually a Tesla. And we're here with the Tesla Owners Club of WA. They've got this thing on display. But the interesting thing about this car is, it's actually been driven all the way around Australia in 19 days, just to prove that it's not too hard to find a charging station or somewhere to charge it. 19 days around Australia. I mean, most people take like a year to do that trip. So if you're down at the Perth Home Show and your phone's running low on batteries, you want to come along to Specialised Solutions. It's the park bench with the solar panels on top of it. And what it is, is actually a phone charging station. So you just pop it on the wireless charger like that and it charges up. Now you might start to see these things popping up all over the country. Now Ecotown doesn't just plug into the mains power. There's a lot of stuff we need to run here and it's all coming from this black box. This is a battery on steroids. It's actually called microgrid, and the way that it works is it can be charged up by mains, by solar, by wind, and by hydro. This will actually carry enough energy to run Ecotown all weekend. What it's actually designed for is it can be parachuted in military style to anywhere in the world in less than 24 hours. So it'll run an emergency hospital, a town that's been hit by disaster, Aboriginal community, you take this there, then you can set the solar panels up and keep it charging. This will run the world. If you're interested in how things work, come on down, check out Switch Your Thinking. They show you exactly what happens here. 
the rain falls on the roof, goes down through here. This is the simulator water tank, which then goes through your filter system into your tap. This is where your water's coming from, from your roof, and then it goes into your grey water. So it's just explaining what you can do, save water, use water, and reuse it again. No, this isn't a tiny home. This is a demonstration of a solar passive house. As you can see here, they've set it all up so you can understand how solar passive works. You've got your north facing over this side, plenty of light coming in, small windows on the east and west, and then ventilation through here on the north. This will tell you how a solar passive house works. I might even pinch this for my talk a little later on. So that's a quick wrap up of Ecotown. Now if you want to know more, the best thing to do is come on down and check us out. We're here all weekend. I'm doing some talks. You can come and chat with me or you can talk to any of the people around here. They hold the information and you want to know about it. Come on down and check it out. It's awesome.